Praxis, and today I didn't do any work on site. I had a number of other errands I had to run, and I've just been doing that all day today. But I did want to comment uh, on how things are going with my orchard. If you guys remember, I was doing the bare root trees, and I was a little skeptical of some of them because they felt like they, you know, they didn't have a lot of roots on that bare root section. Uh, but if you look around you, you can see that most of them are doing pretty well. Uh, there are a couple of them that don't have any leaves at all on them. In fact, this one right behind you over here, it's the same species, I believe, as this. Uh, they're both Granny Smith apples. This one's doing better. This one's just starting to get buds over here. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, yeah, overall they're doing all right. I bought them through Home Depot, uh, and Home Depot is kind of subcontracts out through a couple of different uh, places. One is Gurney's, and one was Online Orchards. Uh, they made you work with others, but those are the two uh, subcontractors that I was uh, uh, you know, engaged with, and they were the ones that were sending stuff out to me. 100% uh, of the Gurney stuff came pretty much right away and is doing really great. I know that some people had commented on the earlier video that they had had some negative experiences with gurneys, uh, but from my experience thus far, pretty good. Gurneys uh, worked out pretty well. Uh, the other one, Online Orchards, almost everything that they sent was late and has issues. They, these two Granny Smith apples were from uh, the Online Orchards. This tree here, which I believe is uh, an Italian plum, uh, not not a sign of a bud on it. All of these trees, which are some type of pear, um, only one of them has clear signs of growth. Some of these, they've got little buds that I'm kind of hoping are going to grow, but the majority of the stuff that came from online orchards uh, is problematic. Uh, it, it, you might have noticed that a lot of the stuff I'm pointing to, I don't know exactly what it is, and that's another problem with all the online orchard stuff, is that the stuff that came from Gurney's had, uh, you looked right down over here, had tags identifying what everything is as it came. So I know what's a, you know, what type of peach it is, what type of a plum it is, what type of apple tree it is. Uh, only one of the 11 trees that I got that were sent from online orchards had a tag. It's just this one down here, which is otherwise seeming like it's dead. It's the, uh, the Anjou pear. I don't, I think that these are, I bought four pears, uh, two Anjou, two Bartlett. This is an Anjou. I, the stems of these look kind of similar, so I'm thinking maybe these two are the Anjou and these two are the Bartlett. But anyway, I mean, it illuminates the other issue with online orchards is they didn't label hardly anything. So when I'm going to be bringing these things back, I'm wondering, like, what's... Uh, <laughs> like, I could bring that back, or I could just get a random stick from the ground <laughs> and pull it up and bring it back. Home Depot has said that all the dead stuff they will, they will accept. But, you know, I, I've got kind of mixed feelings on it. I don't want to bring a tree that's like might have a chance of living back, you know, and, and have them just kill it. I just, that kind of seems ethically wrong to take a life form that's struggling to survive and to be like, yeah, you're not surviving enough for me, you know, in the dumpster. Because, you know, they, they're just going to throw it out. I, I mean, so, um... I'm going to wait as long as I can. I asked them about, like, what's the cutoff point, at which point they won't accept the return anymore. Um, I've got some time. So, anyway, that's, that's, that's how it's all gone. Gurney's, really great experience so far. Uh, online Orchards, pretty terrible experience with them so far. But, uh, I don't know, some of these may pull through, and we'll see. But, overall, that's a lot of green. That's it. Thanks for watching.